Welcome back, welcome back, welcome <laughs> back. And if you if you just if you didn't get a chance to see what you probably didn't, but Dennis was <laughs> damn near running like a twenty yard dash. <laughs> All the way Not since high school, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. How you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, we need to bring him in. Oh, yes. Correct way. Oh, please okay. let me introduce. <laughs> you got I, it, girl. I am so excited to introduce this uh, next guest, a good friend of mine, uh, Dennis Carradine from the Trauma Survivors Foundation. I am so excited he's here with us to tell us a lot about, about the foundation. Mm -hmm. And um, just for anyone at home just tuning in, um, for those of you who don't know, I own a restaurant, an Italian restaurant in North Wilmington called V&M Bistro. And I met Dennis through the pandemic. Okay. Um, he is a pizza connoisseur. Oh. So, um, <laughs> yes. And he did. He went around to all the pizza places and did pizza reviews. Did you? Yes. I, I did. I and did. he was drumming up some, I guess you would say drumming up some business for the businesses by doing these pizza nice. reviews and some mark, it was great marketing. Yeah. And he ended up selecting yeah. V&M Bistro as yep. the best pizza, Margarita pizza to be exact. <laughs> so uh, he was uh, really, really, really excited that we were able to connect and meet and ever since then, uh, we have continued to build Absolutely. a relationship, but Dennis, welcome. We are so happy you're here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bring me back to my hometown. Unlike everybody else, I am a Wilmington native. So this okay. is, I came back and when we did that, we did very specifically for the Hospital Heroes food drive. Yes. Okay. So our uh, contest, which I have gained probably a hundred pounds on <laughs> at the pandemic level for, for doing this, the contest was find the best pizza in, in, Northern, in Northern Delaware. Mm -hmm. Now my backstory, I'm a St. Anthony's guy, so I've been uh, flipping pizzas for the St. Anthony's <laughs> Italian Festival forever, for 100 years. <laughs> right. So, so I, uh, I I started this program of going in and I would uh, test the pizzas in, in North Wilmington, mm -hmm. find the one that was the best, kind of rate it online. Mm -hmm. Now, it was great marketing for the people that had good pizza. Mm -hmm. It was horrible marketing for <laughs> some, some of the honest. other ones. Right, right, I, was right. very, I am very honest when it comes to pizza. Right. And so actually uh, Vincenzo's, uh, Vincenzo's brother had coached my son and, and daughter in, in uh, St. Anthony's in, mm -hmm. in uh, grade school for soccer. And so I was like, oh, I'll go up to V&M. Blew me away. Honest yeah. to God, blew Thank me you. away. We ended up purchasing 60 pizzas for AI DuPont uh, Children's Hospital for the mm. emergency room. Nice. Um, during the pandemic, we started this program. Uh, we are we just delivered our 30th thousandth, wow. however you say it, 30,000th uh, meal to our hospital heroes in 60 locations. Nice. From New York all the way down to uh, DC. Nice. So. Let me let me now. Okay, I'm gonna jump in. One, you're right. VNM Bistro is amazing. Okay, you get that. I appreciate uh, this. <laughs> what, what is your why with this? Mm. I, you know, I'm fascinated with whys. The, the why was simple. So, so I am I'm founder and CEO of the Trauma Survivors Foundation. Mm -hmm. We work with uh, trauma survivors. We work with, we started right after the Sandy Hook uh, shooting. I was uh, brought up there my main career. I'm a trauma therapist. Okay. I was up there for about a month after the, uh, after the shooting, but I've been worldwide for, for major events, mm -hmm. was at 9-11, was down at Hurricane Katrina and mm -hmm. so forth. Mm -hmm. So after Sandy Hook, we developed the foundation mm -hmm. to make sure people had mental health services. Right. One of the things that we've done is worked in the hospital with our first responders, our nurses, our docs. Right. So long, long story short for the, for the why, my wife is a nurse practitioner. <clears throat> at, the, at the time, she was working at Jefferson Hospital when the pandemic broke out. Shutdown happens. The nurses were getting just pounded. Mm -hmm. She was uh, she she was a cardiac crisis uh, nurse that was brought into the uh, ICU and then brought into the COVID units. I called her and I said, "Hey, you know, have you eaten today?" And she said, "Nah, somebody brought pizza mm -hmm. somewhere and then patients <clears throat> got it and there was nothing open." So I said, "You know, not on my watch. Not you know, hey, they, mm -hmm. my lady is she needs to eat." Right, you know, right, so. right. We called a couple of friends that own restaurants. We, we, we do a ton of stuff in Philadelphia down here in Wilmington. Called a few friends and first thing we had was like 100 burritos. And that was our first meal to Jefferson. Then mm -hmm. a buddy of mine, John Schaefer and Rob Wright and Ray Sheehan, and a couple other friends in different organizations were like, well, we gotta make this even bigger. And I'm like, Ooh, okay, mm -hmm. as long as I can get the feed Jefferson first, we're okay. And right. then we went from Jefferson to Penn then we came down to Christiana, then we were at mm -hmm. Wilmington Police, and all these were the folks that we, we already worked with. And right. then, then we put it up on the web, and that's where it went insane. Crazy. Yes. So it, it literally started with, with Laura, it started with my wife, I just needed to feed her. Right, and right. And next thing we know, we're, we're feeding 
hundreds and hundreds of people. So. I am really, is, first of all, his voice, right? <laughs> Let me back. <laughs> Did we meet before? We probably have. Yeah, because I remember the story. It's so, <laughs> so clear. Like, you know, it was, I remember it was this guy going around feeding everybody. Yes, no, he. You just don't forget that. You no, know what I mean? And, and Dennis was making an incredible impact on yeah. the community, especially when the community was suffering so much during the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah. I mean, he was going into, he was helping first responders, healthcare right. workers, mm -hmm. feeding them because they were working so hard trying yeah. to make sure everything else was going you know, well and going okay. Well, and salute so to you, Dennis, yes. the, that, and, and, yes. your, and your, your, your partners that helped you out with that. That was amazing. The great part about it was we were, we were meeting folks, not just you know, Vincenza, but other small businesses. Mm -hmm. Sadly, you know, out of the 100% of our, our uh, restaurants that we've used, our partners, mm -hmm. about 45% had to close their doors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so our hope was, you know, we're trying to get you enough to get you by, but yeah. you know, the pandemic really hit hard in, in certain yes. locations. Obviously down here in, in Delaware, we yeah. uh, we had partnered with several out in Maniunk and, and one of our just absolute best uh, best allies, uh, uh, Bourbon Blue up there with uh, Brandon and Melissa mm -hmm. and all, they had to close because of the pandemic. So right. even right. as much as how robust our program became, you know, unfortunately, the, right. uh, the the program did what it did. And know. that's the cruel reality of this pandemic. There are still small businesses that are suffering and closing down every single day. So we're mm -hmm. not in the clear. Yeah. So keep that in mind, folks, that, you know, there's still ways to get involved. And please take the opportunity to look up Hospital mm -hmm. of Heroes and be able to help small businesses in a way that not only are we feeding healthcare workers and first responders, we're helping small businesses more importantly. And business is the backbone, the backbone of yes. the city. Let's yes. not forget about that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, any way that people can help, help. And speaking of help, do you guys off, operate off of donations? How oh, do you absolutely. operate? Absolutely, yes. absolutely. We, we've been funded primarily by donation or events. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if anybody wants to get involved, I, mm -hmm. I will put out it there. You can go to uh, the Trauma Survivors Foundation org or Hospital yes. Heroes Food Drive org. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually have a couple of events coming up. Uh, we have a comedy show nice. that we're a part of that, mm -hmm. you know, it's always, you, you have to have a little levity in the, the trauma and what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's Thursday night up at uh, Belfont Brewery, which okay. is right near VNM Bistro, local place. Stop in, get you a slice of pizza. <laughs> get your slice of pizza, go up see comedy. Yes, I really, really appreciate all this. Well, I, I show this I really appreciate you know, this. this. Is, yeah, <laughs> well, when you find good people, you yeah. find people that, that mm -hmm. are willing to help. Look, you know, you know yeah. side note with it is that you want to help the people that help you right but you also want to help the people that want to help the community right and that's what Absolutely. we're about yeah and we have santa fest on saturday night so mm -hmm. santa fest again is at belfont brewery what's uh, santa fest so santa fest is come in dressed as your favorite santa <laughs> you're you're, you're going to have a, a good time you're going to get a local beer you're going to get a belfont brewery beer our guys from uh, the 302 fowlings foundation mm -hmm. will be up helping us out they're a great foundation that we work with um, but we're up there just to have fun. So we want to do the, the sexy Santa. We want to do the fun Santa, maybe dirty Santa, whatever, whatever <laughs> Santa we can get. Right. We want people to wear. Uh, wear yeah. uh, I, I don't, have you checked out Belfont Brewery? No, I've like, never been. It's right up the street from VNM Bistro. Great, okay. great place. I mean, I'm, I'm, gonna check, I'm gonna need to check yeah. it out. Yeah, Dennis has been hosting, has been hosting a few of his events there. Okay. Uh, with the Trauma Survivors Foundation yeah, benefiting yeah. Hospital Heroes. And it's been very successful. I think the last event, the last event he had, the park, there was no more parking in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. They were parking all the way down Marsh Road, past yeah. Silverside Road, serious? all the way near the restaurant. So we, started the, <laughs> we started the Delaware Beer Fest before the, uh, before the, uh, the, the pandemic. Mm -hmm. and so this year we decided, well, we'll see how many people we can get. Right. Ooh. We, we got a lot of we got <laughs> But we did do, and again, another shout out to uh, Vincenza, we did a pizza eating contest. We had 10 folks <laughs> slamming down delicious uh, v and Bistro pizza. <laughs> that one, my man ate two pizzas, two whole pizzas. One in guy ate minutes, two whole pizzas? Eight minutes. I, I, I want to be his cardiologist, honestly. Right, I, I right, make right. a mint on this guy. One guy, two <laughs> damn right. pizzas. And your pizza's not small. Dude. She's, she said, <laughs> she's These are hearty. No. These are she hearty. said no. Hearty pizzas. No. <laughs> well, just, just to go back to the Trauma Survivors Foundation, Dennis, what made you get into this? What was, uh. what, what fueled your fire with so, the Trauma Survivors Foundation? I, law, I, very, very long story, but I, I, I went into psychology very pure. I like the science of it. Mm -hmm. So during my bachelor's degree, I actually got hooked up with mm -hmm. uh, my mentor. Uh, he was from the Philadelphia Fire Department. 
and he said, hey, you, you look like a guy that could work with first responders. And mm. I'm like 20 years old at the time. I'm like, right. okay. And I had done volunteer work here in Delaware. I, I am a, a former volunteer firefighter. That's a, that's a young man's game at this point. Mm -hmm. um, and from there, I started working with the Philadelphia Fire Department. I started getting involved in uh, our state's uh, critical incident stress team. Mm -hmm. Now I'm clinical director for the team for the state. Uh, I'm with uh, Philadelphia's team, Upper Darby's team, and, and we continue to start broadening this. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually one of the grandfathers of this trauma psychology movement. Nice. And so way back, one of my first runs was the Columbine shooting of mm -hmm. being flown out there to work with uh, the families. Mm -hmm. And since then, it's you know any day of the week, I'm either at the office, I'm either right. flying somewhere, driving somewhere, or taking care of a uh, five-month-old. So you know we're all yeah. over the place. So. Dennis focuses a lot on mental health, and mental health is so critical right yeah. now, especially yeah. during this pandemic. Absolutely. You know, we say that we're in the clear, we are not. Yeah. Um, so Dennis has been making an impact on the community in so many different ways, and even before this pandemic. Right. And uh, Dennis, we appreciate everything Thank that you. you're doing. Thank you and that continue to do for the Trauma Survivors Foundation, also with Hospital Heroes. Please, if you have not heard of it, check them out. I highly recommend it. Dennis, thank, thank you. you. I want to see some of those pictures from, um, from <laughs> the, San, the, the, oh, Santa, Santa the Santa Fest. <laughs> yeah. that, that I want to see. But um, we'll be right back. Check out these behind the scenes of DETV.